This is Killing Time. You shit kicking stinky horseman horse smelling motherfucker, you. Hello, you are listening to WBRS 100.1 FM and Brandeis Waltham. This is Killing Time with me, Micah. Me, no. And me, Martin. Nailed it. That one was pretty good. Yeah, I usually I like try to go <laughs> contrarian. I don't know why. I'm always like, oh, I'm gonna be like gonna Martin. Be cool. <laughs> That's it. Dude, uh, pronunciation so edgy. <laughs> How's your week's been, guys? Barely talked to you. My week's been pretty good. It's been all right. <laughs> I feel like I've had better. <laughs> <laughs> why is that? Well. We had a linear midterm. Oh my god! Going back to episode one. Yeah, yeah we're just gonna oh, keep bringing up midterms. Stuff, yeah, uh, <laughs> or at least that's the direction I'm gonna take this show. Wait, this is for which class? Linear. Ah, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a tough time. I didn't, we're past it. Yeah, that's good. It's good past. I had a psych <laughs> test, so you had a psych test. I also had a tough time, but I mean, probably not comparable. <laughs> we all had tough times. We all had a tough time. We had our ups or downs. Our ups or downs. I know and what I wanted to talk did. about this week. What do you want to talk about? I what, wanted to talk about, about, I was mentioning this with Noah. I wanted to talk about how there's no good reason why dessert oh is at the God. end okay, of the I was meal. Actually I can a, tell you the good reason. Yeah. Give me what, okay, Dude, honestly. I just explained to you the good reason <laughs> I, g- Tell it to me again. Give me, a, give me it on air. Because you want it to build, you want your meal to build up to the best thing, so that's the last thing that you're but sitting on. But dessert is almost never the best thing for me. Dude, what are you talking? You, you eat dessert last because when you're a little kid, if you eat dessert first, then you're full and you can't eat anything nutritious. No, but, but I'm saying like if you want, carries. if it's like a crescendo. Whoa, am I like clipping or something? No, you're fine. I just feel like I'm cutting out. A crescendo? Yeah, you, you want it to like come you, up to this moment, uh, and then you just sit back. So, are like, you serious? Wow. For you, dessert's the best part of the meal. It depends on the dessert. I mean, there's some desserts that are like the dessert. No, but on average, <laughs> I'm. <still> <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but then there's also None meals. I guess, like, it, it, it depends. I totally disagree. Also, th- I saw this video about how, like, breakfast is basically dessert. And that's, like, like waffles are dessert. Waffles are dessert. Pancakes are dessert. Yeah. And most – remember when we went to the Hannaford's and there's, like, ten different types of the same cereal? You yeah. Yeah. All oh my cereal God. is dessert except for, like, plain Cheerios and, like, Special K. <laughs> that's it. The worst and, ones, and, too. And, and, and Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran's good for you. Well, I don't know. Maybe not. Probably not, if we're being real. But it's, like, pretty bad. Like, <laughs> I bought a box of Raisin Bran at the beginning of this year thinking that I would, like, eat it, and I, I still haven't. I, I think just I don't out. like raisins. I feel like when you take an, a ra- when you have a raisin, you've taken something good, <laughs> something holy, something beautiful, a nice, plump grape, and you've just <laughs> destroyed it. You've tortured it Dude, until it's no, not good anymore. I literally was talking about this with someone today. <laughs> no, I, you weren't. Yes, I was. No what? joke. No joke. It's about the reason what? I don't like raisins. It's because I'm thinking about how it was a <laughs> grape. It used to be and a it's grape. why I like craisins. Because for some reason, I don't think... It's because like grapes are like in our... Mo- like I'm never going to eat just a fucking cranberry, you know? like Why not? Because <laughs> they're bitter as fuck. Oh, that's Dude, true. That's what makes them good. good. You don't no, like bitter. but I'm not going to eat just a whole... I'm not going to eat... Have you ever eaten just a cranberry? I feel like I have. Yes. When? I have. When? When? I might be mistaking them for pomegranate Give me a moment. Seeds. Give me a moment. What? Other than Wait, maybe for Thanksgiving. Pomegranate seeds. I think. You definitely, <laughs> that would be surprising. <laughs> uh, a cranberry is like a whole berry. It's what I put into my oatmeal, though. No. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. I feel like we can make this distinction. A cranberry is like a whole berry, and a pomegranate seed is like a little seed. Okay, then I definitely haven't had a whole cranberry. <laughs> Yes, no one has had a whole cranberry unless they're like a sadist. <laughs> <laughs> I think my aunt likes cranberry. What eating Me. whole? <laughs> Dude, if I walk in on someone with like a bowl of just cranberries and they're popping them in their mouth, I actually think I might like have to call the cops. <laughs> call on yourself or on them? On them, they are definitely a <laughs> fucking danger to society. You know that like the cranberry lobby in this country is very powerful. Bro, like, I actually support like cranberry. Ocean spray. <laughs> ocean spray is the farming model that we need for this country. Tell me more. You need it because it's, it's a fa- it's a farming co op between all the farmers, so they make uh they make all the profits, mm. and they all absorb into this one brand that then sells it, and they can do be- like and they make that those really weird ads. 
You know those ads with this, yes. the old guy and the young guy in a cranberry field? Oh, yeah, and they're always, like, deadpan. <laughs> yeah, they're always deadpan, and it's never funny, which so, is the worst type of deadpan. They're, like, also specifically, like, there's a shit ton in Maine. And I don't know what yeah. about I don't know what about Maine makes it like <laughs> I, prime. Cra- like why can't why can't we well, have them like? In- let me ask you a question. You're from the, the fine state of Vermont, um, why? Which is known for its maple syrup, and yes, um, for its happy people. And I'm wondering what is I'm it? Happy guy. <laughs> what is it about Vermont that primes it for maple syrup? Because there's no people and so many trees. I feel that's like actually that's actually like a really good answer. I feel like <laughs> I feel like that's a similar reason with Maine. There's nothing else to do, and they're like, "Guess we're gonna make some cranberries, <laughs> dude." But Maine but is dude, like what about Wyoming? Wyoming does <laughs> actually nothing except Yosemite. Yeah, it's true. And cowboys. Wyoming has nothing. And Brokeback Mountain. Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> I recently Brokeback Mountain is a homosexual novel about <laughs> it. it's a movie. Oh, wait, it was a book first. It was a book. Yes. I heard that Mark Wahlberg. Mark, we're going to spread this this vicious rumor about Mark Wahlberg, that Mark Wahlberg actually turned down the role because he said it was, and I quote, too gay. Yeah. What? He said that he said that he couldn't do the role because he felt that it was too oh, gay. Oh, I thought you were making this up. No, no, I'm totally serious. Well, you were like, well, we're, we're making up the rumor. I thought you were no, like. No, I'm just spreading the rumor that I heard that I don't know if it's true. Oh. I mean, like, I Well, re- he's a devout Christian. Yeah, Is he yeah, that yeah. kind of devout? He wakes up at like four or three a.m. It's not a Christian. Thing, no, he though. wakes up at three a.m. and then prays at three thirty. His whole yeah. schedule is online. Except when he did it with that guy uh, on YouTube, he slept through the prayer period. Not a real Christian. What? He slept through the prayer period? Yeah, God's gonna smite. No, him. no. How is that guy not smoted already? Smited. Because he works out too much. <laughs> he Dude, the rest if of the God time goes after him. this man, <laughs> he, he will dodge will the light. Kill him. <laughs> you who? Okay. I also not to not to keep things. Uh, moving too much, but I had uh, I only mentioned this a little bit to Noah. I didn't mention this to Martine. So for Martine, this is somewhat of a new thing. Um, I thought we could do a little bit of a sort of a, I guess like a game show type thing with a game that I have, um, which is called Which Horse Is Real? Oh my <laughs> God! So this is what we're going to do. I thought we killed this idea. This is what we're going to do, and you're going to love it. I'm going to give you both a series of three names. One of them is a real horse name from the Kentucky Derby. And the, Okay, let's speed it up, bro. And the other two <laughs> and, and the other two are our names I made up. And I want I'm going to I'm going to give you four of these these things then we're done. And I want you guys to try to guess which one's the real, okay? Okay. I'm going to give you Here's three. Ready? Um, here, here they are. McTurkey Duckin, Catholic Boy, and Sharp Looking. I feel like Sharp Looking. I feel like Catholic Boy. I'm going for Catholic. Well, mm, see. So neither of you. I don't know guys... if they want to. I don't know if they want to uh, alienate. Catholics, so maybe they wouldn't name a horse. I feel like Catholic you're not boy. alienating any Catholics at the Kentucky Derby, dude. I feel dude, like... I feel like that's Catholic Central. <laughs> Wait, but so neither of you guys Catholic are even cons- boy? <laughs> They're playing to their base. What? <laughs> I feel like. Wait. <laughs> I feel like if you name a horse Catholic boy, like that's. But then the Catholics who are already at the Kentucky <laughs> Derby are going to put money on it. No, they aren't because they're like, this is defaming my religion, saying that. Okay, okay. here's what. Imagine <laughs> imagine if <laughs> imagine if there was a horse called White Boy. Would you feel like that's a little weird? What if there was what if there was a horse called Orthodox Rabbi? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Orthodox <laughs> Rabbi is coming down the field. <laughs> that would be, but neither of you guys are even considering McTurkey Duckin. So that's you're you're sure that's not real. <laughs> that is an incredibly <laughs> dumb name, and I would never put. I mean, any money I feel like the, the third one sounds like the most horse name, but because of like the way these games are, I feel like it's the middle one. The okay, so you're going for Catholic boy, yeah, and you're going. Are you going for Catholic boy or sharp looking? I'm going for sharp looking. And the answer is Catholic boy. One what did point, I tell you? One point Good for Martine. Day. Okay, there's. I, I promise these these won't go too long. Uh, the next three <laughs> we are... We better do, like, two more. Of these. Are, are, I'm give, there's three more. Oh, my God. The, the, the next three I have, Sweetie Pie, Mintberry Crunch, 
and Thunder Snow. One okay, of these is I real. I feel like it's Thunder Snow. <laughs> I'm going to go for Sweetie Pie. And you, you're locking in those answers. Uh, well, I'm locking Can you tell me answers. why you're, you are you were, like, so sure about, about you, yours? Because isn't, like, the horse that won the last Kentucky Derby, like, Destiny's <laughs> Destiny's Child? <laughs> Destiny's <laughs> Child, the horse. Wait, so, so, I'm sorry, you're Thunder Snow and you are? Sweetie Pie. Not going from Empire Crunch. Interesting. The answer is Thunder Snow. Mother. <laughs> you guys are now tied. All right. Damn. Ready? Ready? Let, let's do one more since then we this won't is end the up. No, I, I'm going to give you two more. I, I think no, no, gonna, no, you're gonna no, 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 no. You're going to appreciate these. These are going to go quick. This one. Okay. If we end up in a tie, though. You're not going to end up in a tie. Can uh, this be like the win one and then you just tell us what the. Don't worry. Okay. You're, you're, okay. I, I have this. I already have this. Okay. Okay. Out. Okay. Creamed corn forever. <laughs> what? Joe Pesci, or Always Dreaming. Wait, can I get a, re- a repeat of that second one? <laughs> I'm going to go for Joe Pesci, c- just because <laughs> I, I, I would love for Joe Pesci to be. You want that to be real. I, it needs to be. Creamed Corn Forever, Joe Pesci, and Always Dreaming. I feel like Always Dreaming. I'm just going to go for number three. Everything I'm going to go for D, Secretariat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going for Always Dreaming. You are going for Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci. The answer is, sorry, Martin. It's Always Dreaming. He really knows his stuff. Dude, right. I am a two Bro, for I one. started out so well. Two for one. You ready for this one? Gunavera, Gormley, or Gervin? The first one. <laughs> I'm going to go for Gervin. <laughs> <laughs> You're going for Gunnivera. You're going. No, for... I'm going for Gervin. He's going for Gunnivera. Yeah, but you pointed to me. Well, they don't know that, dude. I'm going for. Gunavera. When I said that, I was pointing at Noah. Um, <laughs> Noah said Gunnivera. I realize I can't say you. Also, that's confusing. Noah said Gunnivera, and Martin said Gervin. And the answer is all of them. All three of those are horses. So Noah beat me. Noah had already beaten you by the time we got to three. I had it planned out. Ooh, but if you can, good bl- game, Noah. Dude, good game. We're just gonna Shake pretend that we shook hands. Yeah, because okay. you can't quite reach. Since that was like, yeah. So anyway, That's I'm gonna. So lame. That was that. I'm sort of. I feel like my gaming brain is working, and that was my first test run. And I'm gonna come with more good games. Okay. So be on the lookout. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Right? I, I I actually enjoyed that. I feel like that stimulates some conversation. That stimulates a conversation. I don't know why you thought that Creamed Corn Forever was such a stupid name. I thought that was pretty good. I feel like once you get to, like, three words, I, I feel like it's not even a real thing. Like, <laughs> Anything that's three words is not a real thing. Creamed Corn Forever, I bro. feel like I wouldn't bet on a horse that's name is made up of three words. <laughs> I would have just loved if we didn't get it every single time. <laughs> we're like, Ugh. It's definitely Creamed Corn Forever. You didn't think that, and you were, like, so sure it wasn't McTurkey Duckin'. Dude, because McTurkey Duckin, like you've got, they're trying to get people to like put money on these things. Like, who the oh, fuck is gonna bet on? Oh, bro, gonna... I I forgot to tell you okay. today or not today, two days ago. Noah and I were representing the show so hard. We were the doubles team, killing time in the Brandeis Intramural Pool Tournament. Yeah, we were knocked out. We were knocked round. out first round <laughs> by good? a very attractive man. Well, yes, good thing. The, the, and the trick his is... sidekick. <laughs> Oh, I, don't say which one's which. Don't say which one. In case they do listen, which they don't. But in case they did, they can both pretend. That's all I'll say. <laughs> cool wow. story. The, the point is, we got knocked out first round, mostly because I could not stop fucking up. Like, I came in with that, like, entry blind confidence. Yeah. And I was just, like, knocking him in. And then I got in my own head, and Martin strapped me to his back for a short time. Oh, man. Then I just I, couldn't. We, so I you couldn't repped us, but in, like, almost the worst possible way. That's what we're getting at, yes. yes. You tied us to failure. Uh, yeah. All right, well. At least and I, tied, I, I tied us to failure even more when I went into the singles tournament <laughs> and lost there also. Do you, do you know who you played against? Can we call him out or no? Uh, or like not, not, I forget his name, but he was way. very nice, very nice yeah. guy. You All were right. welcome to, like, uh, drag our name through the mud at any point in time. If Thank you. Want, you. So. I've, well, I've, I've been doing that already. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, um, anything else? Um, huh. I'm trying to think. That's what we got. <laughs> it's not all we got. Come on. We, we've done we more. No, I said, what else have we got? I'm just oh, curious. okay, okay, okay. I was just kind of throwing the question out there, even though we were all thinking it. <laughs> 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 um, there, there was something else that I was, I was thinking about. Because, okay, everyone has their sort of, like, when you're just thinking face. When, you know, you're sort of empty face. 
when yeah, sure. if no one was looking at you, you're just sort of like you got that face, right? And I realized Your recently that my neutral face is like a look of extreme concern because I had this like I've had yeah this, that's actually true I've had I, this where I'm like that. sitting in the park or like I'm sitting in, in in my in the park and I'm like just sitting there and someone will come up to me and they're like are you okay <laughs> and then I recently realized it's because like I was sitting there I'm like like <laughs> I look like I'm really like something terrible just happened to me what's my neutral face look like I don't let, let's let's see it <laughs> <laughs> well don't laugh. Now you're ruining it. Yeah, now you're ruining it. You have yeah, to not smile. Up. All right, and, so, and, and and no no one I will describe what it looks like. Uh, <laughs> I actually can't. I don't think we're gonna get this. <laughs> oh my god! And this is awful for people. Looks listening, like because look, it's just it's all visual. Hearing like sudden <laughs> mouth movements and then laughing. Looks like a badger. What about you, Noah? My neutral face. Let's hear. Well, I know Noah's face. neutral face from the. The, the blank stare that he does when he's looking at his phone screen. That's like that, that that's, that's good. That's the stare of like the death of a thousand worlds. Like I feel like I feel like that's, we all get that though when we like look at our phone screens. Like who's nah, dude, I'm like yeah, not me. I'm excited. Dude, who the fuck is emoting while they're looking at? Their <laughs> I, I'm like, wow. Oh my god. Dude, when I look type at my, my phone. Yeah. <laughs> when I type lol, I actually start rolling on the floor. <laughs> Oh, that's what we were talking about. Are you – listeners, dear listeners, are you a uh, – when you're texting, and, and you're probably you're probably not texting, but if you were texting, do you text LOL lowercase? Do you text mm, LOL capital? LOL. <laughs> do you do LMFAO lowercase? Do you do LMFAO? Or LMAO. LMAO. Yeah, oh, yeah, LMFAO. I, I know skip. people that say, like – in sentence will be like Lamau. I, I I if you do that like that's <laughs> actually like, wow Lamau. <laughs> I, I hate that. Dude, I feel like that's gonna be a word. Like eventually it will become like, and they'll be like, I wonder how Lamau became a word, <laughs> and like, and they'll be like, oh, because it used to stand for laughing my ass off. Like yeah, you know, it's gonna be like an ancient thing. Are we redlining? Are we redlining? I think my ears are getting torpedoed. <laughs> it's because probably your volume's too high. But yeah. We're not redlining. You or, just once in a. Uh, just a little bit. Anyway, I wanted to say because then there's all those. So oh, good. if you go from your lowest level is low, – lowest normal level. You have the normal level of when people usually talk. Lowest level – or text. Lowest level is LOL lowercase. Highest level is LMFAO capital. And then you get to the ha-has. And the hee-hees. And the <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you hee-hee, that's and gotta you're, like... Do you think Michael Jackson would text in hee-hees? Dude, I think <laughs> I text... What, what if I text in tee-hee? <laughs> that would be not good. <laughs> but, like, imagine... Because that, that's interesting, because if you if you text hee-hee lowercase, it's a little weird. But if you text hee-hee uppercase, that sets off some warning bells for me big time. Yeah. Dude, I don't think I've ever seen anyone do that. I, I honestly, when I think about it, if I, over, if I overlook at any text, I'm going to be like getting warning signs i feel like the yeah, way that we true. just text is in we live in a society <laughs> dude no one i have been recently society. saying we live in a society that's a really good one it is I an love ancient it. meme <laughs> yeah it's like is it long, a meme yes yeah, it's like long dead dude i was joking it's pretty <laughs> atrocious actually dude i don't yeah, Mark know Mark this Dean. oh man Run us through the rest of your meme repertoire. We, ha- you have not <laughs> Martine as I think unintentionally, and this is weird because this is not normal life. For some reason, at, in the show, Martine has not gone a single episode with re- without referencing a dead meme. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually up to date. Yeah, usually he's up to. Well, usually we just don't. I don't think it's part of what we talk about, but for whatever reason, <laughs> it is now. That's okay. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's all to say. <laughs> This is just a sort of PSA. If you're listening and if you have ever texted, ha ha, he he, ho ho, tee he, tee he, anything else? What else can we put on the fan wagon? I mean, like, ja 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 ja. Okay, yeah, <laughs> All those things. I'm letting you life. know that if you text me, that I uh, am putting you on my watch list of like someone to look out for. As Wait, a, Micah, are to you be fair, though, I feel like everyone's <laughs> on your watch list. <laughs> to be fair, most people are on my watch list. So it's not that – my point is is um, I think that the thing about text is it's so different how you perceive what you're texting versus how everyone else perceives. Because text is this thing where you are – you when you are texting it, you're thinking an emotion. You're thinking in the context of what you're thinking. It's not like talking. 
Exactly. You, where you think that you're giving all this information, but everyone else that's re receiving the text is only getting the words. And if you're trying to be sarcastic, it's not going to work. And if you're trying to be funny and you don't say LOL, people are going to think you're being serious almost always. So it's like it gets all funneled down. You know what I mean? Dude, that's, that's very true. Thank you. Thank <laughs> God. Someone – I'm sort of like <laughs> – I'm like waiting for one of you guys to save me here. Dude, I'm here to validate you. No one is picking up. Please. I don't have much more to say. <laughs> I've been just talking about texting for five minutes. <laughs> guys. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I wanted to come in and be like, yo, we should uh, put on the music. Yeah, I want you to start, tell me. Talk okay, about yeah, something. Let's, oh, talk about oh, let's talk about what we're doing. What we're doing. Music. Yeah. Okay. What did you choose? I don't even know what you chose. Dude, I chose a dumbass. Song, Wait, let me let okay, me put it on. That I'm actually mm -hmm. very excited for. Yeah, you put that on the playlist Whoops. while I explain it. So it's called Shake Your Tail Feather. <laughs> it is the theme song for the incredible <laughs> movie Bad Boys Two <laughs> with who is it? Like is Will Dwayne Smith Johnson? and Martin Lawrence. Dwayne Johnson. Oh he my is God. The best most ass action movie you've ever seen <laughs> but the reason i chose it was because when i was a really little kid yeah. my parents would play this song for me it's like the weirdest song that i have like an emotional attachment to from like my childhood <laughs> but it's it's very dumb it's from 2003 it topped the uh, billboard top charts in three different categories i don't know why it's not that good <laughs> he's got a lot of factoids what about you uh, martin yeah. what did you i did genghis khan because i was at a party by recently who? by who by who by Mike Snow. Dude, yeah. I was thinking about that. It's a good fucking song. Because I was at a party recently, mm. and no <laughs> one would let me play the song. <laughs> so now hell? I am going to play it And now he has spite. the power. I have the ox. Uh, so are By the way, the music video for that song is super weird, but like, kind of fun. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, for his song or your song? Uh, for his song. The, for movie, the music video for my song <laughs> is just, just a, a bunch movie. of like... <laughs> it's like a 2003 rap video there. Yeah. Oh, I've seen those. What about yours? And then mine. So, wait, I have a question. Are both of yours explicit? Uh, yeah. No. Neither I, is yours, Noah. Is it? No. Well, no. It doesn't mine, ha have the explicit. Mine, yours does, does have the explicit. Mine is explicit, and I'm very excited about this. It's going to be our first explicit. It's after 10 o'clock, so we can do it. And it's, I'm very excited. It's our, 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 an explicit song. It's called Star Me Kitten. And it's called Star Me Kitten because the star... Is instead of saying, what? It, what? It, Sorry, my mic is like oh. fucky. Oh. All right. Well, that that didn't go really <laughs> quite the point. I, was so <laughs> I like couldn't hear what you it's said. The star, me kitten, is he's really saying, fuck me kitten. Oh. And I thought that was kind of clever, and it's I. Felt I don't. I don't get how that's clever. Because he doesn't want to say. He doesn't want to put a curse word in the name. Oh, that's so pretty he's cool. Star, me kitten. It's not super clever. It's just a little clever. Okay. Yeah, um, actually, before we go into it, I just realized I was thinking about this because we were talking about explicit stuff. Because, like, back when this song came out, the radio version of it, the radio version, mm -hmm. is listed as explicit in Spotify. Mm -hmm. The original radio version is explicit. The current normal version is not. Is not. Is I feel that like that indicates something? Is that like about, a shift like, in standards? Yeah. I feel like What's the word that they use that's no longer uh, a curse? I I think it's content. I don't think it's good language. Oh. Okay. And I got some mad content. <laughs> That's what the, and they're Stop. Like, and they were like, bleep. <laughs> <laughs> Chill with that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, should we should we head into it? Yes. All right. Wait, but can we do the – I feel like we should do the PSA first. I do, okay. So this time we're going to change it up, everybody. We do, this okay. time, PSA. That was Shake It, Taylor <laughs> Fellow <laughs> featuring P. Diddy and Murphy Lee. It 2016 remaster. Oh, man, what a song. That was an experience for the years. <laughs> it was a symphony. Shake your telly feather. <laughs> it's not your you know telly what, feather, dude. Yes, it is. Not, I'm reading it on not. here. Oh, my God. It's tail, tail feather. feather. It's bro. not telly feather. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. You know what I was thinking? My favorite sense. part is the is the cop car in the back. <laughs> <laughs> dude, because, like, that tail feather is being <laughs> shook so big. <laughs> Dude, the music video is even better. It's all like a green screen with like the. I, I just can't get over that your parents wanted to, to see like no no <laughs> like as a child cultural. you need to see this. It's because I apparently fucking loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that says a lot about what the man you are today. The fact that I you feel like it does. <laughs> like I feel like it influenced me remarkably, which is probably for the best. Yeah. 
All right, are you gonna? You yeah. want to tell us about our sponsors? So uh, it's my turn in the lineup. I'm the, uh, I'm who's the sponsor first? guy. I, well, I was first last time, but we're on our fourth now. So. No, I was saying who's sponsoring us first. Oh, oh, first who's sponsoring us is Prime Deli, the Prime Deli Cafe. Uh, mm. Oh, Prime Deli and Cafe takes pride in making their products fresh daily. From only the finest and freshest ingredients, their delicious homemade soups and daily specials are made from scratch with no additives or preservatives. Really? Man, I feel like I just am so <laughs> bad at reading aloud. <laughs> their quality and service remain at high standards while their prices remain extremely reasonable. So reasonable. What do you think that they'd say, like, low? <laughs> Extremely low. No, reasonable. They don't uh, want to. Please remember, any order may be customized to suit your needs. Just give them a call at 781-893-4344. That's 781-893-4344. And when they say any order, they mean any order. I mean, oh, my God. They, they know what they're doing there. They know how to make a sandwich. What are you talking, <laughs> what are you talking about? What's You've your, never even gone there, What's bro. your favorite sandwich from Prime Bro, Day? we – Bacon, egg, and cheese, dude. That's a good okay, one. Okay, bring your mic up close. My mind. my favorite is the uh, the um, the chicken bow burger pot pie. That's a uh, a chicken sandwich inside a casserole dish with pickles. Ooh, oh my god! That reminds so me. Good. Today in um, they don't really make that. Today in Dude, the lunch hall. She's yeah, I know, I know, but I just want to talk about it. There's they had crab. What was it? Uh. No crab, crab cake, po' boys. <laughs> What's a po' boy? It's like a, a type, type of sandwich. sandwich. It has a certain Thousand Island sauce or something on it. Maybe, yeah. And But it was like sort of southern no thing. crab cake, but it's crab cake. I was very turned off by it. <laughs> Wait, where was this? This was in, uh, in, in Sherman for lunch today. Mm, well, you know why that is, because you didn't decide to go to Prime Deli or Chillbox. Or Chillbox. I mean, frozen yogurt can be a meal. I've used it many times as a meal. But uh, Chillbox yeah. Chill is a great place. Chillbox Greek frozen yogurt is a fresh, modern concept highlighting the natural goodness. I'm going to see if I can do how fast I can do this. That is not a good idea. No, but I feel like that's not what they paid for. The Greek yogurt has to offer their unique and fresh, uh, their unique and healthy frozen yogurt, especially crafted from 100% authentic Greek yogurt and non-GMO low-fat milk, making it a healthy and alternative. Along with their signature frozen yogurt, they also carry a variety of artisan ice creams, European coffee smoothies, and cold beverages that are sure to satisfy any craving. Visit them in Waltham at 781-499-5380. 781-499-5380. That's Chillbox. Chillbox Greek frozen no, yogurt is a their, fresh modern Can you say their phone number a little? Just say the phone number slower. I feel like that's important. Uh, 781-499-5380. Zero seven eight one four nine nine five three eight zero. They make excellent froyo. I gotta say it. Also, gotta give it up to the students of Brandeis. Thank you for paying for this. For this, yeah. For I us, mean, not yeah. really. But I mean, we're, we we have a high salary. They <laughs> we were contracted. I've um, honestly, and this isn't. I am completely lost in what I'm talking. This about. isn't even a joke, and I'm a hundred percent serious about this. Chillbox. I've had other froyo. And Chillbox is up there in the top. Three. It is better than most Froyo yeah, I've had. Yeah, it is really good. And it's so good. It, as they say, it's healthy. It's good for you. Well, well, that's debatable. <laughs> it's like that Seinfeld episode. Okay, yeah. Let's bring that. See, in. I feel like you don't like when I talk about Seinfeld, and I don't like when you talk about most things. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we're both we're in, we're yeah. in equal. So footing. basically equal. <laughs> I don't like it when you bring up a single show. Martin doesn't like it when words come out of my mouth. <laughs> I feel like and when you wear that leather jacket. That fa- faux leather jacket, yeah. Which I'm not wearing right now. But not because of you. But I actually got to say, the Brooklyn shirt, it's one of my favorite shirts. Oh, yeah, it's a really good shirt. I'm right now. It's the one that, <clears throat> didn't we talk about last year how that's the one that, like, everyone sees? Like, you have an outfit that, like, everyone. Everyone's got a costume. Everyone's got, that, we were talking about this, if, if someone dressed up for you as Halloween. What would their yeah. costume be of you? Okay, mine would be it for would be Noah. The green, it would be the green jacket. It would be for the jacket that's over in the corner, which is this green checkered jacket. Okay. That would be Martine's. Okay, and what, it would what's be, under uh, it? It would be a raggedy beard. Sort of raggedy. <laughs> I think like a raggedy beard, right? Uh, kind of raggedy, definitely. Bro, I haven't rocked the raggedy in like a month. In like two weeks. Wow, can you please never say rock the raggedy? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you guys think, you guys act that's like I'm disgusting. some old, like some old ass man that like, Knows old memes and like <laughs> raggedy. What? <laughs> I, I'm just trying to defend myself. After I feel like I'm hitting back pretty gently after just being told that every word that comes out of my mouth is bad in Martine's eyes. 
<laughs> you know I'm joking about uh, that. Ah, yeah, I know you're joking. You just can't get a joke, man. You can't get a joke. <laughs> um, is there anything else? Any other ads? No, we're we're good. No, there. we are we're we're golden. That's all. So I had well, in our in our break, I had I had a revelation on something that I wanted to talk about, which is I read um about the ten most expensive liquids in the world, <laughs> written by Alexi Melvin. I don't know who that is, but. Uh, thank you, Alexi Melvin, for this. What do you guys think is the most expensive liquid in the world? I mean, I feel like it's scorpion uh, poison. <laughs> or <whatever>. Bro, <laughs> you, you, I just went like we didn't prep that. <laughs> yes, it's scorpion venom. Okay, no, Can you, I okay, was... wait, give it, give it an estimate. How much do you think it's uh, forty nine million per, per gallon? Forty nine million per gallon. Yeah. Per gallon. That's what you think. I think so. Okay, be serious. What do you think? No, I'm actually serious. You I think it's like, 49. I feel like it's a lot because it, it takes like a ton of time. Because, bro, you get like, I think you get it's like one drop. Million. I think it's 49 million. And you got to be like, tell me what it is. What is it? You are off by exactly 10 million. That's <laughs> still a lot of million. 39 million. Dude, I am million within a, a standard deviation. What do you think is one of, you know what else? Horseshoe crab blood. Is the fourth most expensive. Oh, yeah, because they what? need that for the pharmacies, dude. They need yeah. to test their vaccines. $60,000 per gallon. Bro. Number five is Chanel number five. $26,000 per gallon. I got a story about Chanel number five. Oh, yeah? So I'm in Italy. And uh, I Italy. went to Chanel. Nice. And I was like, yo, I got to try Chanel number five. Because I I'd read this article. Uh, you What? You read this article? I read an article of some sort. Uh, not maybe written by Alexi, but was it? And they were like, "We can't let you have like." They were like, "A spritz is like too costly to give you." Yeah. Oh my god. And I was like, "You got to be kidding me!" You, you know, it does not cost them like. No way. <laughs> How much does it cost for like a whiff of the nozzle? Like, <laughs> my nose. Dude, that's at least ten dollars. Wait, what is it? That stuff called? I was just telling somebody about this, and I couldn't remember what it's called. They make like perfume out of whale poop. You know what I'm talking yes. about? That's no, that's what they use in it. It's it's called um, <laughs> it's something French. It's called uh, like Seagrams. It's called something cool. Let's find out what whale poop. What? Wait, it's not in Chanel number five though. It is. Are you, see- dude? Oh, amber grease. Amber grease. It's amber grease. Six. So <laughs> there's a story about. But no, it's not. It's not just whale poop. It's like when. They like ingest something weird, and then that their body can't digest, and they like. <laughs> it's very rare. It's like the oil. It's so, dude. Humans are whack. <laughs> Why did we see that? And we were like, oh my god, this no, would be great in I perfumes. Just, How do we get to that point? So here's an article in the week. It's titled "The Eight Year Old Who Discovered a Sixty Five Thousand Dollar Piece of Whale Poop." And it's because this is what I've happened. also read this. <laughs> Charlie Naismith, eight. He was strong as a dad on the beach in New Zealand when suddenly he came across a giant thing of ambergris. $65,000. I'm skipping around a little bit. 1.3 pounds of whale shit. <laughs> and the kid's like, I struck gold. And he's just holding the shit. Because, by the way, like if you look at a picture, it does, you don't look at it and you're like, that looks like it smells good. It literally looks like... Wit, no, like, I, I guess it's not that it smells good. It's that when you insert... Uh, when you insert a smell into it, yeah, it holds the smell very well. Yeah, that sounds right. You so know. it prolongs, like it's like it was like what they used before they came up with synthetic, but it's it, still like the the thing, you know. Its nickname oh. is floating gold. <laughs> that is disturbing. the largest piece ever found. Speaking of whales, is one hundred and ten pounds and seven hundred ninety thousand dollars. I um I was looking, I was watching the old Moby Dick movie. There's a Moby Dick movie with uh, what's his name, something Peck, Oliver Peck, uh, 1950. He was in To Kill a Mockingbird. John. Oh, that guy. Uh, are you talking about Aaron Paul? Yes. No. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. No. <laughs> what's his name? Something Peck. Uh, Joshua Peck. No, you guys know uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. What's his I name? Know, no, I, I just... watched the movie. Are you talking about the guy who played uh, like the lawyer? At- the Atticus. Atticus. I just don't know what he's called. Oh no, Martinez. Trevor, Trevor Peck. Okay, uh, Noah, you gotta save it. And Martin's away from it. I'm sorry, it's I think he's not... away looking for it. N- uh, Gregory Peck. Gregory Peck. So he's Ahab in the movie, and it actually—I was like, I'm ready for like these 
like awful like jaw like CGI for mm-hmm. Moby Dick. And surprisingly, it was actually like better than Jaws <laughs> in the way that they did Moby Dick. And yeah. you can tell it's fake, but I was like, this is actually like way better movement of like a thing in water and like I I I mean I the standard there is shockingly low. Well, didn't in Jaws they, like, fuck up their entire budget or something and spent, like, a ton of money on making a really bad Jaws, and then they, like, kind of just... What? <laughs> Wait, they did, they did a bad Jaws on purpose? I don't know the story. The story of when Jaws was bad? I don't... What do you no, mean? No, I feel like originally they made... I don't, maybe I'm talking out of my ass. I felt like they made something, like, really elaborate that didn't work, and then they were like, fuck it, and just went with something, like, kind of broken and just used, like, maybe camera angles. It's, I mean, I don't know. I know that the um, the Hobbit was like, you know how they have in the Hobbit or not the Hobbit in Lord of the Rings, all the short Hobbit people was like all they didn't do CGI there at all. It was all like clever camera work and things like that. Oh yeah, like how they made Tom Cruise look tall in all his movies <laughs> <laughs> by putting him ten feet in front of the stars <laughs> with his headlines up and having him stand oh, on a block. Oh man. Or, well, let's not talk about Tom Cruise because he will hire Scientologists. Like, go after you, dude. If you Uh-oh. like, we now even broke that. their names, dude. Oh no, sorry. They're coming for us. I know that the the South Park guys got like tracked. They were like trying to dig up dirt about them. The Scientologists. I know. That's I'm what they tried. They tried to dig, dig up dirt and then blackmail you, dude. <sighs> dude, imagine if we get blackmail. What if I just dug myself into like the deepest hole ever? Who would be WPRS. like the group that if we went after, like you'd be like, oh, do not go after them. Probably, I feel like Probably Scientologists, Scientologists are. I feel like they're up there, but I feel like there's there's someone that we're like, like, like the Illuminati. Yeah, let's talk about the Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's a red dot in your. <laughs> Why is Jay Z in here? <laughs> <laughs> Jay Z just teleports in. Jay Z comes he in. Like, yeah, he's got the triangle symbol. <laughs> Beyonce comes in. No, Beyonce doesn't know about it. I thought Beyonce was definitely in. I don't know, but not in my reality. Everyone knows Jay Z is in. Jay Z is <laughs> definitely in. I don't know why Jay Z is the one. Because he's ever... always doing that triangle <laughs> symbol. But like, I, does no one get that he's like messing with them when he does that? People are I like, oh most no, he's people, serious. I think most people understand. He's serious about it. Also, what's the thing about like the triangle is like a symbol of power? Is it just because of the pyramids? The all-seeing eye, bro. Have you seen the back of our dollar bill? Dude, no. it's on there. It's on there, and dude, therefore it must be. And dude, have you ever seen National Treasure? No, but I have seen Ancient Aliens. Could it be? We don't know how the pyramids were made. <laughs> Could it be that aliens <laughs> did it? Bro, you just destroyed the money. Well, that's how Ancient Aliens does it. And that's then they how... get the guy with the crazy hair in there. And he's <laughs> that like, guy with crazy what hair. What about aliens? <laughs> he's got crazy hair. He must know. Dude, that guy is so rich now. Yeah. Off of that show. Because I'm pretty sure, like, he does, like, all these, like, a- alien cons, like. God, why can't we get, what, what like, oh, where's that niche? That's what we should, we should watch History is Not What You Think It Is, and, c- c- like, just comment on that. I can't watch that video again, though, because it was, like, it's terrifying. Like, it's actually the level scary. of detail in that, like, conspiracy, like. It's not even like I mean, I just think theory. it's so. Cre- I think like the human mind is so creative. Like I don't know how I would even think about that. Yeah, what what terrifies me is that some people think that's real. That's but, what creeps. By me. the way, we're talking about a video on YouTube that you could watch. It's called "History Is Not What You Think It Is." I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, just look for the one that's like a cartoon. And There's it's like a lot an, of it's like, like re-uploads. An, it's like an hour long. Um, it is the the craziest mishmash of like psychotic shit like every like new age conspiracy about chakras and atlantis and mars and jews that come from mars <laughs> from the future it's a great it's it's a great i mean if you have an hour to spend i would not spend it on that but <laughs> Don't. i would it's at just, some point i wouldn't watch it a, watch, a little I, bit of a watch I, that was really like a good chunk of time that i felt like i'm never getting back i loved i loved every moment that i watched of that i thought it was so good do you know that? Um, I, in, I, I recommend. Do you know that in anyone. space astronauts cannot cry? <laughs> Wait, I actually true? didn't know that because th- it balls up. Wait, oh, so sh- like, what if you start crying though? It, they, you can't. <laughs> that was the dumbest thing I ever heard. Dude, that. 
dumb mistake I've ever heard. <laughs> I, I said, I said, astronauts <laughs> can't cry in space. And your question is, but what if you start crying? No, though? no, but like, dude, you're not you don't allowed to cry. In no, space you or? literally can't, like, because of how you're. Because, like, dude, it comes from like gravity. Oh, wait, <laughs> but the water can still escape your face, right? Like, no, yes, it, it doesn't. No, yes, it doesn't. But it doesn't. It just kind of it, it globs up, up around your eye. Okay, that's. A, I was like, what if you start crying? Also, did you know that explodes? Leonardo da Vinci invented scissors? What? Isn't that crazy? Dude, you know that he invented a bridge. I just, I actually just watched a documentary on Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> uh, he invented a bridge that you could just fold. It was like a folding bridge, and you could just plop it open. That's great. I know. I mean, like, man was a genius, and he was also gay. <laughs> I. How do we know that? I that read it like, somewhere. <laughs> that sounds like something that could or could not be true, but I don't know how we would know. I don't know how we would know, but I just heard that from many sources. I think I think the whole thing was that there was a rumor, and that because he fathered no children. Yeah. Did you uh, also know that nutmeg is extremely poisonous? Do you know it's extremely psychoactive if you have enough of it? What poppy seeds? No, nutmeg. Nutmeg is I'm saying, psychoactive. If really? you have a lot of it, you'll you'll hallucinate. How much? Incidentally. Um, I don't know, but I remember in um, Orange is the New Black, they stole nutmeg from the pantry, and they got, like, a big can, and they just were putting it in there, like, <laughs> just stuffing it in, and they, like, were like, whoa! whoa. <laughs> yeah. Because that's the kind of thing, like, the poppy seed bagel thing, you know about that? It's like, it used to be that, <laughs> like, you would get a rat, you know, you get pulled yeah. over, and they're like, we tested you and you got opium. You, you got the big O. You got opium on. And they say, no, no, I just had seven poppy seed bagels before I got here. And you're like, guess he got us again. We have to let him go because technically he had. But now or if you had a poppy cake. Or if you had a single poppy cake. But now they've raised it or something so that that's not possible. Also, that's a thing like uh, uh, the Jewish cookie, the hamantaschen. Yes, the hamantaschen. Um, hamantaschen are often filled with poppy seeds. So that was like a thing that would happen is you have a, like right after Purim this massive spike of people getting arrested for heroin usage because they would all be eating poppy seed filled cookies and just getting positive results. Nice. What but was I going to talk about? Were you going to say something else about Leonardo da Vinci? Uh, I could talk all day about Leonardo I da Vinci. I could talk all day. What do you know? Do you got anything interesting to say before we wrap up? Do you know that? I think he ran. He like kept in physical shape. I thought that was Alan Turing. I just read that. There's Unread. two – more than one person could stay fit in history. Well, yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> it's just that I feel like very few people who are as smart as, like, Da Vinci or yeah. Turing were also, like, <laughs> world star athletes. Can I just tell you guys some f- – I'm just reading some fun facts Dude, I am so tired. And these fun uh, – we're, yeah, we're, we're almost wrapping up, but I, I just want to – I just think these – these are – to call them fun facts, a bit of an overstatement. Fun fact number eight, horses cannot vomit. Fun fact number 11, penguins can jump as high as six feet in the air. What that the cannot be true. That cannot I've be seen that. <laughs> what? No way. How do they generate I saw it in, 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 a, in um, what's it, what was the movie? Have you guys ever seen that? Uh, March Happy of the Penguins? <laughs> they jump. <laughs> that was like the documentary movie that my parents had on DVD. I watched that over and over, March of the Penguins. But how Rent it at your local blockbuster. How, how, yeah, how did they jump that high? I don't understand. Uh, because <laughs> it's impossible. There's something. Well, they else. have some wings. Okay, so they fly. Yeah. All right. That's a really great. Yeah, point. but like their hop has to be. They've got no hops. They their have legs. no quads. They've got no quads. They've got no <laughs> knees. I don't understand. They literally don't have knees. That is dude, not. Dude, maybe they're hiding their knees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This, uh, dude, I feel like penguins are the big conspiracy. I feel like <laughs> they, underneath <laughs> where they have their knees is like where they're controlling Jay-Z. Jay-Z, if we ever go to Antarctica, it's just <laughs> Jay-Z standing over a bunch of penguins showing their knees and jumping six feet. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate Illuminati. All right. Well, that's, I, a good, that's a good yeah, Anyway, stand. thank you so much for listening, everybody. We had a really great time this week, I think. Right. Definitely the most enjoyable one, I felt. Yeah. I felt like we were having for a good us. conversation. We had the most fun this week, I can tell you. Uh, don't forget to shake those tail fever- feathers or whatever. Those Taily feathers. <laughs> Taily feathers. <laughs> Penguins do have knees. Penguins do have knees, and Jay-Z is hiding it from the government. And we failed. Or We talked about Ar- Aaron Paul for like two milliseconds, but... Aaron Paul, Aaron Paul, Aaron Paul. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're we got good. our fix. We got that continuity.
Uh, anyway, catch us next week, same time, same place. 100.1 at uh, 10 o'clock, we're hoping, here in WBRS. <laughs> 100.1 FM and Waltham. Contact us at Killing Time.